All right, here we are back in our parallel RCL circuit, and this time we are going to calculate resonant frequency. So the resonant frequency for this formula is going to be 10.99 K Hertz. So we're going to use that frequency now for all of our ohmic values, and we know that that frequency is going to give our inductive reactants and capacitive reactants the same value. So we're going to start with that, and we see that both of them now have an ohmic value of 7.25 K ohms. Now in resonant circuits, the same holds true whether it's parallel or series. If you have, um, if it's at resonance and the two ohmic values are canceling each other out, then impedance is resistance, and that is the same here. So our impedance for the circuit is now 9K ohms, which is the resistance value. All right, um, current 54 divided by 9K is now 6 milliamps. We look at our individual branch currents. We still have that same 6 milliamps through our resistor. And you will also notice that because the ohmic value for the circuit is um, resistor 1, branch 1, that the current through branch one is total current. It doesn't mean that the other two branches don't have current flow, but they are canceling each other out. So this is that same um, phenomenon. So in this time, when you look at your Eli and your ice, you use the voltage as being the constant. And then you look at the two um, with the voltage being that combined component. And so we know that current through our capacitor is 90 degrees ahead of um, voltage. And we know that current through the inductor is 90 degrees behind voltage. So that any particular time, the current through your inductor and the current through your capacitor are 180 degrees out of phase. And therefore, if you were to read across them, they would cancel each other out. So there, there's current there, it's just that you can't read it because they're canceling each other out because they are the same and exactly opposite. All right, so the currents that they do have is 7.45 milliamps, and of course that's the same. Um, for this one, that current formula, you're going to end up with 6 milliamps, which is uh, total current because the other two are going to cancel each other out. So same kind of thing that's happening in the um, resonant impedance circuit or even um, with either of those, as well as the voltage in your series. So that, that's the same thing that's happening here. You're canceling each other out and then all you have left is the current through your resistor. Squared and square rooted, it is total current of six mil. All right, and then of course we know that those voltages are all the same. So um, that 54 volts will be seen on R1, L1, and C1. And that is, of course, because there's only one component in each, in each branch. And we know that voltage is constant in a parallel circuit. All right, and uh, that is the long and the short of resonance in a parallel LCR circuit.